Keynote is a great way of um, creating presentations on, on the iPad. It is uh, it's a great app, uh, really, really easy to use. So this little video tutorial is going to be um, a very brief look um, at Keynote and what it can do. I'm just going to open Keynote for the time being. I'm just going to delete this one. Um, in order to create a, a new presentation, new Keynote presentation, you click on the plus there. You can create a presentation and you get a, a bunch of, um, of templates to use. I'm just going to use the black template here. Click on black, up it comes. Now down the, uh, the left here will be um, you know, all of the slides that you've created in your presentation and this will be the, the large slide view of whichever one you've got um, selected here. We have um, a number of different options over here, up here, which I'm going to quickly go through now. So, so this is the first slide. We've got an image here. If I tap the image, it um, gives me um, a whole load of different options. Um, I can tap the image and keep my finger on it and move this around like that. Grab the corners, make it bigger or smaller. And these these useful yellow lines to guide you, um, so you know uh, whether or not your image is in there, you know, in the centre of the screen or in the middle. So I don't want to have that image. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to tap it once and click delete. If you want to add an image, click on the plus at the top. Um, there's loads of different things that you can add. So I can add shapes um, here, and you can see the T can add some text up here. Some of the shapes, some charts, tables, and media. Now, media, I can add video or um, a photo that I've already got stored on my iPad. I'm actually going to go to to Google to get mine. So if I'm going to go over to Google, and I have already got some of these images um, that I found on Google. Um, so I've basically had a look on it, tap on that. And here we go. So if I want to, to copy or save that onto my iPad, I can keep a finger on it. I can either save the image to my camera roll or I can copy it. Just for the purposes of this, I'm going to copy it. Go back to Keynote. Tap uh, my slide, click paste, and there is my image, which I can then make nice and small or smaller. Get that in the centre there. There we go. At the top here, there's a little paintbrush. That's all my formatting options. So if I click the paintbrush, I can change the various styles, which I'm going to choose this. Style options at the bottom, there are some other options here. Reflections and shadow. Um, and I can also change the border if I want. So I'm quite happy with that. So there's my, my image. Again, we've got some text at the bottom, which I can drag around, just like before. If I tap it once, I get some options at, uh, above, above that text. I'm going to double tap, and I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to write iMac 2012. Can move that around. Again, at the top, I have my paintbrush tool. So I can click on that, and I can change the size of the font, you can see it changing at the bottom there, the colour, and the font itself is down here. Really, really, really intuitive. Um, so you're not going to have any problems there. So there's my, um, my first slide. Really, really straightforward. If I want to add some animations to that, I can Tap my text once, there's animate, which I can then click on animate. Oh, missed that. And I can um, and it changes to a new, if you notice here, it's changed to the um, to the animation section. So I can click on the first plus here, which is build in, which is an animation in. Click on that, and I can choose some loads and loads of different ones. I'm just gonna choose cube for this, it gives me a bit of a preview. There it is. Now while I'm here, I might as well add the animation to this one too. 
So what should we choose? Iris, not sure what that is. Very nice. Um, they've got some options down here as well. I can change um, how long it takes for the animation to start. The order is very useful. I can grab these um, three lines here and I can drag them up and down to change the order of the animation. Click done on the top. And there we go. If I click the play button, And tap, there we go. Brilliant. Very, very, very straightforward. Now, we're obviously going to want more than one slide. So, plus button at the bottom. Click plus. Lots of different options here. Um, so, let's just choose this one, for instance. And I can go up doing exactly the same thing. Don't forget the plus at the top. Um, I can add some more text down here. Oh, I'll move that around if I want. I can, if I like, add some transitions between these two slides. If I've selected the first slide, up here with a little spanner, got some more options here. Transitions and builds, and I can click on the plus, and I can, I always like the doorway. There we go. And obviously, you can do the same with the other one. Once you're happy, you can click Done. The great thing is, as well, is that under the spanner, you have presenter notes. So you can add presenter notes to your, um, your presentation. When you're hooked up to Apple TV or you've hooked up to presenter mode, the iPad you're holding, you can actually see the, the presenter notes at the bottom of the slide, whereas the audience will just see the slide as normal, which is really, really useful. Now... You're going to want to, you know, might want to hand this in, send it to someone. And what you can do, if you can go up to presentations at the top, click presentations, click edit, top right, select the one I'd like to do, and there's an, the arrow here. And I can choose to email the presentation. Um, we've got another option here to so open another app, which means I could open that in Dropbox, um, save it there. You can see a previous um, tutorial for that. If I choose email presentation. I can email it as a keynote, a PDF or PowerPoint. Um, PowerPoint is useful because if I want to email it to someone who obviously hasn't got a keynote, they can open up in PowerPoint on their machine, on their PC. And the, the transition is pretty good. Not all the animations are the same, but um, it, is, it is very good. Anyway, there we go. Very brief introduction to um, keynote. It is actually really powerful. So spend a bit of time having a look and, and seeing what else it can do.